Hi, I'm Adam DeSanctis, and welcome to MBA Now. With me today is Mike Demas, Senior Vice President of Sales at Proctor Loan Protector. Mike is here to discuss the benefits of servicers outsourcing their insurance operations. Mike, thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So first question, uh, what is outsourcing and when should companies consider it? Great question. Uh, outsourcing, if you think of it, is a way to completely remove all of your insurance operations to a third party like Proctor Loan Protector. And as such, you are moving all of that um, day-to-day work, the call center, the escrow payments, all the things that are important as part of the process. One thing to be clear on, this is not PMI, this is not mortgage insurance, this is specific to homeowners, flood insurance, et cetera. So it's important that people understand the differences of the two. Um, one of the things that's important as well is what it's not. Uh, we always talk to our clients and explain to them that this is not hire us, walk away, forget it. It's a collaborative effort day in, day out between the servicer and Proctor Loan Protector or whomever the third party may be. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Collaboration definitely is key there. Um, what are some recommendations you would give to a servicer who is looking to outsource as part of the evaluation process? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question, and I think what's important is to understand why people outsource. Uh, there's usually two reasons. One is to offset expenses, costs, and the second is risk mitigation. So when we're talking to people about why they might outsource, um, we, we talk about those two things. Um, so what's important is when they are evaluating somebody to look at size of company, years in service, um, as some may know, Proctor and Loan Protector joined forces two years ago. Um, to become the third largest insurance tracker in this space and the largest um, not owned by an insurance carrier, which is really important. So when we're talking to people and, and advising them on things to ask about are the size, the scale, with all of the acquisitions, M&A activity, MSR activity that's happening today, a lot of organizations need a company that can scale and grow with them very quickly. So it's important when they're evaluating companies to ask those types of questions. Um, secondly is ask about historic information. What are their service levels? How have they performed for similar like companies, their peers of the mortgage servicer? These are all critical questions that they want to get answered as part of the due diligence. Um, lastly would be the technology. Make sure they're seeing and get a demonstration of the technology and asking the tough questions as part of that process to make sure that not only does the company say they can do it, but they can prove they can do it. Yeah, I think those are important questions to highlight there. And uh, from a borrower standpoint here, thinking about the borrower, what are the benefits when a servicer decides to outsource their insurance uh, operations? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of benefits. Um, first is, as we talked about the risk mitigation piece and the cost, you know, one thing we always say is you could probably save some money, may or may not. Um, there's a lot of tangible, intangible benefits to outsourcing. The risk mitigation is probably more important. Shifting that risk to subject matter experts. So when you talk about the borrower and how critical they are to the, the central theme of all of what we do, um, having, having key people within the organization that's call center all the way up through senior leadership that understands why a borrower might be calling in or have a request or concerned about a payment. These are things that are very difficult for people to answer that aren't subject matter experts. So the benefit typically to the borrower is ease of use, frictionless, um, the customer journey is very important, but ultimately getting them to a place where they can get their questions answered quickly and timely. Those are all great points to make there. And Mike, I've really enjoyed this conversation. Uh, what is the one thing that you want people watching this video to take away? Yeah, it's, 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 it's an industry that I've learned over my 16 years that's based on relationships, friendships, trust. Um, my best clients, our company's best clients are the ones that we have built these relationships with. So I, we often talk about um, at the end of the day, we're all here earning a paycheck. We're all here to, to pay bills. But that doesn't mean you can't work and be partners with people that you like and enjoy. You know, we've built so many great relationships and friendships over the years. It's become the central theme to kind of what we're doing. We want to build that like and trust with all of our clients. And that's what's probably most important. Partner with somebody that you like and trust. Mike, you have given us a lot to think about today. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate the time. Thank you.